here, it's x, x, and x squared of 2. So these angles here are the 45 degree angles, okay? And what you can think of is you can think of this as a square that's been cut in half on the diagonal. So if you were to look at this originally, all of these sides would be x. And if you do the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, you'll find that the hypotenuse is whatever the leg is times the square root of 2. And just for reference, square root of 2 is about 1.4. So it's just like when you try to put something in a box. If you try to put it this way, it doesn't fit. If you try to put it this way, it doesn't fit. If you put it on the diagonal, though, oftentimes it'll fit because this is actually 1.4 times longer. So this is the ratio you want to remember, x, x, and x squared of 2 for 45, 45, 90 triangles. So let's look at some examples. Say this one over here, they give us the leg length is x. So what would be this side length right here? Well, it'll also be 3 because this is an isosceles triangle. The base angles are congruent, so these sides, these legs are going to be congruent. But if we multiply by the square root of 2, now we find the hypotenuse, 3 square root of 2. So it's 1.4 times longer than one of these side lengths. Okay, now in this one, they're giving us the hypotenuse, 4 square root of 2. So what we're going to do to go from the hypotenuse to the leg, we have to divide by the square root of 2. So what's 4 square root of 2 divided by square root of 2? Well, you can see that's going to be 4. And because this is isosceles, both of these are going to be congruent. So this is going to be 4. Okay, last example here. We've got a 45, 45, 90. They're giving us the hypotenuse is 10. How do we go from the hypotenuse back to one of the legs? Well, what we're going to have to do is divide by the square root of 2, but we don't want the radical in the denominator. So what do we do to get rid of the radical in the denominator? We rationalize by multiplying by square root of 2 over square root of 2. This way, square root of 2 times square root of 2 gives us square root of 4, which is 2 and we get 10 times the square root of 2. The 10 and the 2 we can reduce, so that's going to be 5 square root of 2. And both of these legs will be the same. So 5 square root of 2, 5 square root of 2. So take a look at my other video about the 30, 60, 90 special right triangle, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.